Top Tree Stormcaller has been a powerful subclass in Destiny ever since its birthday back in Taken King in Destiny 1. That's a really long time for something to be good in a video game. It survived this long without getting nerfed while still remaining a favorite of top players for a few reasons. It's still a great choice in 66 game modes, and it's basically still free reign in scrimmages. So today, I want to explain a few reasons why and how this subclass has walked the line for so long between effective and inoffensive. After this story, I have a full Trials of Osiris card for you where I use Top Tree Stormcrawler in today's meta to go flawless with the streamers Gabe the Grape, who is one of my good pals, and No Calf Jones, who Gabe introduced me to. They're the types of people who encounter challenge and ask themselves, how can I better overcome this, not, that's unfair and I'm gonna rage and lose, the latter of which is a popular attitude that I'm very sick of. While I don't disagree, Destiny PvP can feel pretty cheesy sometimes and get me tilted, No Calf and Gabe still have plenty of fun with the game and have carved out their identity as positive influences in the Destiny PvP community, which is rare today, but absolutely wonderful to see. I think it's worth dropping both of them a follow, which is free to do, so please, after the video, click the links in the description or pinned comments so you can check them out. Do it for me, Guardians. Thank you. Okay, so why has Top Tree Stormcaller, or Attunement of Conduction, survived for so long? Well, the main reason is that Top Storm is one of the best examples of a really powerful subclass that hasn't crossed a line for the community. First, just a brief overview of this subclass's abilities so it makes sense in the context I'm about to place it in. Also, obviously, I don't think it's news or anything that Top Storm is good. That's not news, but that's the whole point here. It's a deeper look at a somewhat forgotten subclass with a fascinating reputation. Okay, so Top Storm has a good super where you can shoot lightning out of your hands over the range of about 15 meters, which is pretty far, and you need about three ticks of lightning to kill a guardian at full health. During the super, you can blink teleport a distance of about four meters for a cost of 6% of your super energy, and this really helps the evasiveness of the super, which is important for a damage over time super, but what's more, you can press jump and then blink back to back really fast and make yourself move a bit further by channeling the momentum of the blink. All in all, it's a great choice of super, but it isn't overpowered whatsoever, and for Furthermore, in this meta, it doesn't have a super long cooldown like tier 1 supers would. So while not in your top storm super, you have the standard choice of healing rift or empowering rift and either a pulse, arc bolt, or storm grenade. Fascinatingly, storm grenades have the shortest cooldown, which is unique since I think most players would consider storm nades the best choice for their very wide hitbox and unreliable feeling where you'll just double damage people sometimes. Or maybe that's intentional, but whatever it is, it's really good. This makes storm grenades exceptionally effective for tagging an enemy with a single bolt of lightning from around a corner, and if they're within 11 meters of another enemy, then those two enemies will chain lightning between the two of them, doing damage over and over again until they die or move more than 11 meters apart from each other. This is an extremely powerful ability called Arc Web, which many people just call Chain Nade or Chaining once some opponents are chaining damage between each other. This is an iconic Top Tree Stormcaller ability and works so well against teams who are holding hands and just sitting in the same area team shooting together, which remains to be one of the simplest yet most powerful strategies in any shooter game, particularly Destiny. This Arc Web ability breaks people up out of their team shotting lane and provides some fantastic openings for you or your teammates to push in and get kills. And what's more, every time an opponent chains a bolt of lightning, you get grenade energy back. And you can also chain lightning between opponents using your melee ability, which is really powerful for finishing off weak opponents, particularly if they're grouped up, and just getting grenade energy back faster. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but the melee seems like it definitely has extra range on it. And finally, you have the Transcendence ability, which gives you all your health and shields back when you pop your super if you have full grenade and melee energy, but then it makes your super last 30% longer too. All in all, these abilities are very effective and the subclass remains one of the best choices on the table, but it's never crossed the line. What I mean by this is that Top Storm is really good and it's always been good, but it hasn't ever ventured into the territory of something like Top Tree Dawnblade with a sniper, the Laurel Splendor Titan Helmet, Wormhusk Crown with Arc Battery, Bow Hand Cannon Swapping, One-Eyed Mask, Pre-Nerf, Chaos Reach with Geomags, Pre-Nerf, Void 3.0 Hunter Builds or the Renewal Grasps these days, Dead Man's Tail with like any subclass, or honestly any of the Stasis subclasses, particularly Pre-Nerf Stasis. Over Destiny 2's PvP history, these have been some of the most powerful and memorably obnoxious builds, but something can be annoying without crossing the line. There's plenty of examples of really powerful builds that can be annoying to play against but haven't earned a reputation in the entire community of being annoying and detrimental to the game's fun. Whereas all of these broken builds I just listed earlier have had one thing in common, and that's that they've crossed this imaginary line where they've become so powerful that they're memorable even after getting nerfed, and while they're alive, they cause people to rage or just stop playing because there's really no counters to them. 
them. If someone uses any of those broken builds, you basically have to use something equally as broken or just use those exact builds even more effectively than the opponent. And after a while, that can become pretty unfun to have so few options to counter something and so few other types of builds you're fighting against. It's like when Cammy Cakes says in old Rumble live commentaries, oh no, someone switched to last word, and then the whole lobby would switch to last word, and that's it. Fortunately, that isn't really a problem anymore, but there are plenty of other things taking that broken place these days and quote unquote breaking the game. In gaming, broken generally means something that is so unbelievably powerful that it feels as though it's breaking the game's rules. And in some cases, it goes so far as to break people's minds too. When people encounter these broken builds enough, over a long enough period of time, they grow irritated, which transforms into exhaustion and eventually they stop playing the game until something changes. It's been sad to see so many builds like this mess with each Destiny launch and subsequent meta, driving people to complain or rage or away from the game or into scrimmages where they're safe from cheesy stuff and they can focus on gunplay, which is in my opinion one of the number one reasons to play Destiny PvP at all. It's just fun to shoot the guns. I don't really understand how these broken builds keep happening time after time, whether it's the game's developers genuinely not realizing that something's going to be broken, or intentionally launching something broken just to generate hype or get more people to buy an expansion. Whatever the case, or if it's somewhere in the middle of this spectrum, every time a new season of Destiny launches, everyone's curious to see what's going to break the meta and cause our Twitter timelines to fill with salt. And this brings up an interesting point too, and that's that there's two sides to this picture. There are plenty of people in Destiny who like broken builds and don't care about something being balanced. They don't get burned out by cheesy stuff, either because they just like the broken builds or they don't actually play the game that much. So logging on for a couple hours a week and using whatever the silly meta is for a few hours with their friends is fun and chill. And I get that. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with enjoying the game however you enjoy the game. If something is in the video game, it's fair game to use, and if you don't like it, you either have to shape up or ship out of the lobby. You don't really have another choice, adapt or lose, which can be frustrating, but the primary place that your disappointment should be directed should be towards the game's developers because they control the meta. I think that philosophy is genuinely fair and good because if you encounter something broken, it's because it was put there by the people who made the game, and if something's a little broken, maybe that's fine, but if it crosses the line and just causes the meta to become really one note and boring, that's on the people who made the game, not on the player. As a quick aside though, if you take this disappointment and end up just spouting off online with meaningless yelling about how you're sad and mad and something's unfair, just shut up. It literally doesn't help whatsoever and all you're really doing is reducing the already weak credibility of the PvP community to provide meaningful feedback. So if you want the game to change, you just need to be constructive, or at the very least not toxic. If you want to moan and groan to your friends in your voice chat about, you know, some empowering rift camping Luminarch player in the back of the map, go for it. But you're crossing the line into unacceptable behavior if you start some obnoxious YouTube or Twitter drama about it or send the person hate mail or something. That just sucks and we can do much better than that. And the very key fact that we can't forget right here is that people enjoy winning matches just like you do and sometimes they're going to do whatever they want or can to make that happen and you can't fault people for doing that. You can be pissed about having to fight yet another team sitting in the back of the map with damage resistance and dead man's tails, but honestly, they want to win the game just like you do. So if this irritates you, don't take it out on them. Either find a way to outplay them with a different build or the same build, or take a breather, stop playing, and try to formulate some constructive criticism in the community. Or just go play private matches with your friends, honestly. Long story short here, there's a group in the Destiny PvP community who wants to play with primary weapons without random excessive damage buffs or resistance, and there's another population who wants to play with freaky space magic and just see what happens. Some of these people across both sides don't give a shit about winning, and others do. Wherever you fall in this broad spectrum, I genuinely support you if you're playing how you want to play and having fun for the sake of having fun. Unless, of course, you're being toxic like sending hate mail or bagging or cheating, but honestly, people like that are just such long-gone lost causes that it's important to just ignore them and move on. They're often dealing with some deeper internal pain or issue that they have yet to notice or work through, and the best thing to do is just have fun, beat them if you can, and then ignore them. But anyways, the point here is, there's a whole lot of Destiny players out there. Some of them enjoy using the broken stuff, some of them don't, and some of them dabble on both sides. But whatever you're using, it's because the game's developers created it. And if it ever changes, it's because the game's developers changed it. So the key question is, do players have an impact on the meta changing? Well, short answer, yeah, you do. 
When enough people complain about something, it can catch the eye of community managers who pass on the feedback to developers in constructive ways, or things will start sticking out in the internal data, like maybe Bungie sees, ooh, 90% of players are using Shatter Dive right now. Maybe we should take a look at that because it conflicts with our mission statement for PvP. And then they do, and it inevitably changes. Although sometimes these processes take a while, which can really suck. But anyway, to me, it's clear that player engagement with and feedback on the meta does drive change with time. It really does. And that's where Top Tree Stormcaller comes into the picture. Top Storm has never crossed that line of all those broken builds and offended the Destiny PvP community, which would either drive them to complain about it and get it nerfed, or cause them all to use it and spike an alarm in the Bungie mainframe that the meta needs a shift. There's never been a Top Storm meta, you know? It's always been good, but it's never been meta-defining good. And that's good. Seriously, that makes me really damn happy. That is exactly what I want out of a subclass. Something that's unique and effective and powerful, but isn't just broken or free. Powerful, yet balanced. That's what makes Top Storm iconic. It's a great choice in any game mode from control to survival to trials, and it hasn't gotten noticeably nerfed or changed in forever. It's still the same beast from day one of Taken King, and I love that. It reminds me a lot of what Bottom Tree Hammers has been for so long, like a reliable old car you can just depend on no matter what. Nothing too fancy, just really solid. Recently, of course, the Laurelie Splendor Helm has briefly dragged Bottom Tree Hammers into the broken tier for a bit, but that'll change soon, and then Bottom Tree Hammers will go back to being the beautiful and solid choice it always has been, the same subclass I really enjoyed running during the heyday of Stasis. Which, by the way, is one of my older videos you might enjoy. I was still new to the scene, but it's one of the first videos where I started realizing the sort of thing I like to make on YouTube. Anyway, this is the context that Top Storm has found itself within for so long. It's powerful and effective, yet it hasn't crossed the line for people. Not only has that saved it from nerfs, it's allowed it to find its way into the hearts of top-tier players around the world and has always been a great choice for scrimmages and tournaments. And these two reasons, stealing the heart of top players and also being allowed in scrims and tourneys, is a unique phenomenon that I think is especially captivating. The reason it's still acceptable to use Top Storm in scrims and tourneys is because it has walked that line so finely between effective and inoffensive. When people get killed by Top Storm, they don't mauled, they're honestly pretty understanding about it because it's so clear and fair feeling. Like, unless you've really succumbed to scrub mentality, no one's sitting around talking about Top Storm Caller like, oh, that build is busted, screw that guy. They think, okay, next time their grenade is up, I don't get to stand within 10 meters of my teammates, and then they change up their gameplay. It's such a clear rule and like playing card in the deck of cards that is Destiny PvP. If someone runs Top Storm, they have a playing card every 45 seconds or so that says, you have to move away from your teammates or you take a bunch of damage. And people get that. That is easy to understand and feels fair without feeling broken. Or with the super, it's like, I either move more than 15 meters away from the storm caller or they kill me in three ticks of damage. Okay, I can do that, I can fight it, I just have to watch out for the blinking and not stand next to my teammates. And then with transcendence, the ability that gets the storm caller all their health back upon super activation for having full melee and grenade, well, that's kind of the ace up the sleeve of the storm caller, since so few people expect a storm caller to be smart enough to use that. But honestly, super damage resistance these days isn't so ridiculous that you can't still kill a storm caller if they pop transcendence. It's just kind of like a little treat for high higher skill storm callers. Altogether, Top Storm is amazingly unique in Destiny PvP because it has this powerful and fun kit that any player can slay out with, so the skill floor isn't something like Voidwalkers with Blink where it's really easy to be bad with it, and at the same time it has a decently high skill ceiling which rewards practice so good players feel it's worth their time. But for all players, it doesn't feel impossible to play against, and that's key. It is so incredibly rare for something to walk the line like this in Destiny PvP, but for some reason, Top Storm has played both sides forever and still continues to do it. And this is where I think one of the most interesting Destiny PvP psychology things comes into play. The best players in Destiny enjoy using Top Storm because it doesn't feel cheesy. They like it because it's not broken. It's reliable, it's fair, and it doesn't get them free kills. It allows them to make people move and stop camping. It allows them to have a solid, compelling kit in PvP. But best of all, it encourages the user to focus on primary gunplay because it isn't leaning so hard on broken abilities. And I think this is what charms Stormcaller users the most. It's honorable, for lack of a better word, and that actually matters to a lot of players in Destiny. They want to use good things in the game without feeling like they're being handed out free kills or getting away with shit for free. Like they want to use their primary guns primarily and invest time into something that would make their friends proud when they see clips of it because it shows off their skill rather than a random broken ability getting them a quad or something. 
And what's more, the best players in Destiny often enjoy investing time into something that's still allowed in scrims so they can get comfortable with the kit and focus on teamwork, which is how you win in scrims. They want to invest time into something that isn't just going to get nerfed into oblivion after a while and waste their time investment. They want to master something. So when it comes down to it, Top Storm is one of the perfect subclasses for so many reasons. It's fun for new players, it's fun for old players, and it doesn't offend anyone while still being powerful and preventing hand-holding in PvP. And it's so fair yet effective that it isn't banned in scrims or catching nerfs every season. I think it's a wonderful and iconic subclass and I absolutely love it. Top Storm reminds me a lot of Bottom Tree Hammers, and it's just something I always, always come back to if I'm unsure of what to play. And what's more, to this day, Top Storm is an excellent choice for winning games, even in a meta that's defined by damage resistance, invisibility, and hand-holding in the back of the map. It's a great subclass. But I'd like to show you just how true this is in practice, even against tough, sweaty teams. So up next is my Trials experience with No Cap Jones and Gabe the Grape. I've really enjoyed playing with both of them, and I hope we do again in the future. I think you'll find this Trials card really entertaining, and it's a good example of the place Top Storm has in today's meta. I do really well in some of the matches, and really poorly in some other ones, and there's also a few times where we were forced to switch to Dead Man's Tail, which happens sometimes, but all in all, this card was just honestly so enjoyable and really fun. Alright, let's get into it. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day. Nice. Good shots. Sweet. I gotta tick off my Waking Vigil since he has that Richard. Yeah, <laughs> he was ready for you. <laughs> oh, they chained a ton. Wow. Nice. Yo, I'm ready to Galahorn them all. Oh. oh my. Nice. Yo, you're just demon my special my. Nice teams. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. 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 What's happening? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my man just went through him, though. That was chaos. <laughs> that was crazy. Chaos mode. It's fun um, playing with no calf because I feel like I've played you a lot, but on the enemy team and lost a lot. <laughs> so it's fun to... Uh, I didn't know we played each other so much. I think, so, like, usually when I'm with Gabe, so maybe you two are, like, close together on the same coast or something but usually when i'm in games you for your team you yeah i'm east coast okay yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. i'm central oh yeah yeah i played you five times no calf holy five <laughs> yeah i remember on burnout i was like ah oh, no calf again we're gonna lose this one and then we did we lost can't believe yeah. we played against each other so much i love it <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, it's cause destiny. like before I ever before I ever put two and two together that you streamed and like went in and like we've been friends since, like I I know like I recognize your name playing you and I hang out in monster streams so much that like I recognize your name from playing him because he's East Coast too. So. Yeah, the first time I saw you was when he raided you and you seemed pretty chill. I just want to recreate that one snipe I hit. Yeah. For the rest of my life, you know? I know. I want you to as well. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, you're done. We out here YouTuber clipping. Man, YouTuber man. I feel like the like making a video of this would be fun because it's like a throwback to my first videos I used to make where it was literally just like trials clips and then the full flawless match. And it was yeah. just with like chill background music and it was pretty fun. Yeah, it's also pretty pretty low energy compared to fucking three hour vault video. <laughs> yeah, that one is a different <laughs> genre. <laughs> I still feel like I need a break after doing that, honestly. Like, I just, my brain still feels dead. Well, yeah, you did that, and then, like, two weeks later, we did day one, so... Yeah. Yeah, I hit a sniper now. Oh. Nice. Oh my god, you mapped that guy. Thank you. Oh, I got axiomed. Oh, he's pushing you. Damn, he's got a weather ward? Good shots. Thank you.
I sue. Oh, you've made a stairway to heaven here, Gabe. Ah. This. Chanko. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ow. Oh, I got one in stairway. Nice. Uh -oh. Alright. He's just standing there. Yeah? Oh, bear. You just come in my room? Yeah. From what? Oh, is it my room? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, I don't think I got a single kill that game. That's okay, buddy. Like, actually. We still love you. It's about self love here today. That's true. I want a diamond door behind us, too, actually. Oh, nice. Nice. They might chain from that, we'll see. Nope, nothing. Oof. What's coming left through spawn? Uh. Nice. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, Gabe. Awesome. Oh. oh. Sniping. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, how buddy. is that not a headshot? <laughs> nice. Good Gabe. job. I just don't bother reloading anymore. I just run into walls and let transversives do it. Oh. I see. You're the tell Ooh. me you didn't miss a rock. I mean, I missed a little bit. It didn't have tracking. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it does! You're using a tomorrow's answer. It has intrinsic tracking. No, it does. Really? Do they actually? Yes. You, if you hold ADS, it tracks. Okay. That's news to me. Oh, just the right on jump up behind us. Nice. Good job. I can't see nothing. Ooh. Nice. Spicy. Yes, do it to your homie. Oh, yes. I saw, thank you too. Yeah, and I want to farm it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you, Dan. Aping. Oh my god. He timed that shield perfectly. Yeah, he did. <laughs> We're gonna get Axiom here. I'll take one. B, fuck him. Diamond, close diamond. Nice. Good teams. Great rest. 
Nice. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Big plays. Yeah, boy, you just paid. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. I just got axioms. <laughs> but, like, I'm mega axioms. I just totally stuttered there. <laughs> I mean, you shotgun and Nickers at the same time, bro. What are you gonna do? He's just better than you. <laughs> He's a gamer. He's gaming harder than mm -hmm. I'm gaming. I wasn't gonna say it. Ow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. Nice, thanks, Big, Gabe. Big. <laughs> push it over. Nice. Great. Sir. It tracked him so that it sh fucking hit the wall. Oh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> nice. Not the grapes. Yeah. <laughs> Gabe, I'm surprised you don't use Axians more because, you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> what? Because they're grapes. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> Ooh, nice. No way this guy decided to just jump at me with the overshield. Oh, he's weak on Gabe's orb, but he's gonna be on the top. Nice. The shots. Push me hard. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Almost. I'll put up my shoddy and it didn't shoot. I was gonna say oh, I saw your shoddy. Feels yeah. bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not the end of it. We can all relate to that. Oh, yeah. It had some dirt in the trigger and it just didn't, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a Titan with a barricade and overshield on the right side of Rocket right now. Copy. Copy. I chain-aided Rocket. Didn't work. Yeah. Oh, hello. He ran. Oh, he's so the weak. Fuck? Shoot. He he just wanted you. Dude, I was gonna say, weren't both of you fucking behind me? What the yeah. hell? <laughs> that was some fucking shit right oh, there. Nice he just ran right by me, hit me. You. <laughs> yeah. I thought you. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, no way I have to worry about behind this door, right? because like both my teammates are like literally right behind me. <laughs> nope, nope, you're just gonna run straight through my shield and not look at either of you just to kill yeah. me. Cool. Priorities, man, you know. Yeah, my Gotta bad. Gotta take I'm down just, the grape. He's, he's, he's built different, I guess. Nice, teams. Oh, they're, oh, hello. <laughs> He's gonna ape you, yeah. Oh, fuck me. Gotta do something to work. Who win news? Yeah, if I stop playing, like, my name isn't Spud. Maybe we can win this. Titan's aping over jump up. Close. Ooh. Fuck. I'm circling. Oh, no! I'm gonna one, two, four. Might be able to get my super. Nice. They will have weapons of light. Ah. Uh, no worries. Nice try, that's my bum. Nah, that's all good, brother. What are we at? Like one or two percent? That was game four. You want to put out? Yeah. Gabe, look at that. Look at your chat. Glenn says it only has in tracking through the tracking module. Glenn's wrong. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, they're doing the, the sniper. Nice. Nice. That's great.
Uh, he's pushing in just a tab. Nice night. Alright, cool. Good plays. Sniper's weak on the pillar, but so am I. Uh, I'm with you, no calf. Yes, sir. Playing life first. Up. Nice. And then rift here. Sweet. Nice. Good job. They did the thing again. I'm just gonna nade it. They're chaining, they had to leave briefly. Oh, they're back in it though. Nice. The Monarch is on the stairs in their spawn area. Oh, nice, okay, it's dead. Big, big. I'm going around to it, yeah. That's good to keep down. Nice. Oh. He's he's still in the corner. Oh my god, his connection. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to show you that clip. Wow. Did he teleport? In? Oh yeah, he like came out of that corner to kill me where my orb was, and then just was instantly back in the corner. Just no crouching. cap will appreciate my jokes. Whenever that happens, I just say he's a wizard. Teleportation jutsu. Yeah, he has <laughs> space magic, you know. Nah, it's teleportation jutsu. Oh, they're all chaining. Nice. Oh, big. Warlock speak. There's no way. <laughs> There's zero chance that that is just what happened to me. What just happened to you? My melee, like, hit his teeth and I just died and it did no damage. Outside gamers. Ooh. They're chaining again. <laughs> oh, not much though. Oh no, let me out. Ibs. Okay. Oh, nice. Thank you. On rose. Oh, they Thank got you. me. Shoot. Ooh. Ooh. That's huge. Does that guy have the exotic on? Stag? No, the stasis one. Uh, he, yeah. I believe he does, yeah. Yeah. The sniper ants, they're all no, hard scoping okay. me. And there's dust field on the stairs. I chained them, I think. Yep, they had to leave. Still nice. chained. Nice, Gabe. Big pick. Fuck me. I gotta back up. I'm gonna get Gabe. <laughs> Alright, I'll try and watch Drizz. Okay, I could. Um, it's okay, I didn't even know they had a sniper. He starts to me. Okay. Point live. Oh, they dust field to that. I'm just gonna come back to you. Woo! <laughs> just rip the arc staff on him. I'm too weird. Oh yes. Oh my Almost god, down. I'll do it now. <laughs> I'm slightly scared, but I know you win these. Oh yes, nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
What a, what a round. <laughs> yeah, that was exciting. <laughs> My chat is actually trolling me right now. Why? There's no way. I said teleportation jutsu and they're like, they're like, Baruto? Is that a Pokemon? Like, oh, come no. on, man. I have the most <laughs> uncultured chat in all of Twitch. <laughs> That's crazy. No Kev knows. No, no Kev knows. OG Naruto always. I actually really like Shippuden. You like Shippuden? Yeah, you don't? I liked it. I think just the pain arc goes so hard. Mm. That was a really good one. Like, I don't know. I could watch remixes of like the Sakura screaming and Naruto showing up and just like fucking putting Pain's face in the dirt. Like that mm. one frame is so sick to me. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite character? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, honestly, like this seems like an off-meta pick, but the um, oh my god, I'm blanking on his name. The the very first like bad guy that they fight. Zabuza. Yes. That was a like cold. Oh my god. <laughs> that was criminal. He, he just slid into the crystals and killed both of them. Oh no. <laughs> oh I my god. That. Gabe's out here committing crimes. Mm. I'm getting so good with how the storm, it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> like oh, last time I played with so no cap. Last time I played Nocaf, you saw me get like so many like three pieces with the Thunder Crash melee. And this time, you were. Face this demon. Oh no. I'm dead to Axion. 1v1. Wait, who is who is left? No where, one. Where left. am I to go? There. Nice. There you go. That's what you were to do. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually sick though. I'm so happy about that double kill. You're popping off. I'm putting those kids on Twitter or something. <laughs> Imagine just freezing two kids and putting it on Twitter. I'm nuts, I'm nuts, I'm nuts. <laughs> I'm simply built different. Uh, there's one right of rocket. Confident. They might come in there. Happy? Oh, I take them up a bit. Playing a laugh a little. Oh, nice, Gabe. Oh, oh try right. Behind you, Gabe, behind you. Oh, dang. I got tunnel vision on the guy I froze. There's no way he should have frozen, by the way. Oh, unless he was at the end of that. Never mind, that was okay. I got tunnel vision on the guy you froze, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I like, really need to switch to running an energy SMG because I think energy does more damage to stasis. Oh. Ooh. Aping you, Gabe? Nice. Aping again. Good job. Above. I can't fucking oh, see, bro. Nice. Oh, Gabe, that clip, God. that was great. That was really that good. Was really was clean. Good, yeah. I'm telling you, this <laughs> class is like, ceiling for movement and stuff is insane. Yeah. No, I believe you. Oh yeah, the slide comes in clutch for sure. Yeah, and also you can do the slide when you're like suppressed and slowed and Ooh. stuff, which I absolutely love. Really? Yep. Like or when you when you get hit by a smoke bomb too. Nice job. You <laughs> cheaped that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did I 360 no scoop? Yes, sir. That body shot. I'm a demon. Gabe, you're kind of popping off this game. You are, dude. I love it. Oh, get these grapes away from me. 
On your right? Behind you, he's just aping the shoddy. Oh no. Shoot. Mm. I had a call on my part. You good. I really thought that snipe was on, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, hello. That was all you gave. Me. Yeah, Degree. great game. I didn't really do anything. Just like traded every round. I um I did some killing in that game, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. I wanna see how much damage I did that game. Let's go. Beautiful. I do wanna see that one snipe that I hit. Because I think it was a dude's. Yo, I think I recreated it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh shit! Is it a? Did somebody clip it? Oh, you're watching it right now. I'm I'm watching. Ooh, that was good. Nice. It was like you can see, you could see it better. Ooh. But it was still really really smooth. Glad hmm. said it's time for Cerberus plus one again. It it might be. <laughs> How did he know? There's no way Osteostriga just killed me there. This guy's uh, back rocket, I think. Let's go. Nice. Oh yeah, my connection bar is like half right now. What the hell? It's weird. Oh, uh, nice fiber, buddy. I know, I'm on fiber. Like, what? What more do I have to do? <laughs> <laughs> I think you have like pseudo fiber. Oh. No. I don't know what the hell was the plan there. Nice. In your thing, but if you like cracked open your router that says fiber on it, like you just find like a spud plugged in. <laughs> uh, I swear to god, you're like <laughs> you have the most inconsistent fiber connection I've ever heard of. Honestly, you're not wrong. I am watching you stream right now, though. I don't know if that's part of it. I'm streaming and I have full bars yeah. on Wi Fi, bro. Off of just pure Wi Fi? Or? Yep. Must have some really nice internet. Yeah. I have really nice Wi Fi, yeah. And like, it's pretty good for. Like, I'm streaming at 720, and like, I, I don't think it drops too often. But I'm moving in May, and I can get my, uh, my own router, so that'll be sick. Yeah. You know, that could be my issue, honestly, my router. Because my. Oh, I'm just throwing. My bad. I launched too far. You good? Again, I needed the special anyway. What? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> oh, that's Striga and Burns. Yo, I give you your special back, yeah? No yeah, way. Yeah, thanks, Gabe. Can you rest me? <laughs> no! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you win. Yo, you're, you can rest me? Like, no troll, you can rest me? There's no way he straight lined <laughs> me like that. What the fuck? He saw me get res and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna shield bash this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna get him good. Did she wait? He was, yeah. He wanted that grape dead. We should make no cap play something <laughs> other than a hunter. Make oh, him no. what? <laughs> play something other than a hunter for, uh, for well, a Well, that's party. just mean. Not my baby. <laughs> Don't you have like a stud goal for not playing hunter? Oh yeah, yeah he does. How far that's are you funny. from that? I uh I got a little ways to go. No. I'll be happy and sad at the same time. <laughs> you know, like, my man is addicted to his hunter. 
Ah, é. Uh! Delete. Two and diamond. Yes, the Cerberus. We go. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> yeah, I'm trolling. I love you. Oh, he launched me. Yeah, Yo, the Oscar streak of beams. I just oh, got yeah. an like, auto. I, I feel like it doesn't. Got an auto rifle mastery. In the crazy. <laughs> because. Oh yeah, you're right. The energy primary. Thank you, Yurda. With stasis. Yeah, sure thing. What'd you do, Smelly Yurd? Damn, <laughs> I, did, I subbed a no cap. Much love. Spread the love. We gotta, we gotta get him to try a Titan for a week, you know? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> don't wanna see it. It's the polar opposite of Hunter. That would be, that would be an experience. Maybe we Titan, kind of we punch. Yeah. <laughs> they rifted the corner there. They have an imp rift. Ah, uh, they're chaining a lot. The one is outside. Oh, angle. Weak. Okay. Coming back. Invis somewhere outside. I'm weak. They might. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry. Was close. Grape, grape coming in, and suppressor. Oh, oh so wow. many grapes! Sorry. I chainated them. Oh no! No, nice. oh, I couldn't get out of that. Good try. Good try. Honestly, Is I might. Yeah, I'm gonna put on the DMT to be honest. <laughs> that's, I think that's what this is going to. Should we go outside? I don't blame you. Yeah, let's okay. meet him. Oh, yeah, there. Oh. I'm weak. Oh my fucking god. I don't want to really weak. That's a good nade. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I don't have a run. Right. Oh shit. That's no, okay. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's my bad, I got fusion. That's all good. Outside, I think. Try to pick one as he yeah. comes over the stairs. On box now. They amp rifted the corner there. What, man? I can't snipe Let's against this team. They just have too much bullshit. Oh, close to you. 
come on over. Nice. Oh, Good stuff. Guys. Yes, sir. I think they're gonna just do that same thing every time, if I'm being honest. I think the sniper off. I can't snipe against like the DMT and the pulse. Or whatever it is they have. Yeah, it's a DMT and an Amprift, which will two tap these days. So be careful. Yeah, let's they're let's go in. Them? Let's go in. No, I have no. Run, have yeah. mm -mm. They're in. They're on stairs. I needed it. I don't think it's gonna work though. Yeah, nothing. Pulse is on the right side of this angle. Two top one. Nice, Gabe. Good grab. Oh, damn. Whatever. It's oh. gone now. It's fine. Better than them having it. I'm weak. Suppressor. They might try right side here. Yeah, they are. Two downstairs. Chain it out. They're chaining. Yep, got two. Big, okay. huge. Big, that's huge. There's still a guy there though. Nice. Let's go. Nice. Big nade. I'm going to hop up on this box on the left and I'm just going to look over. Okay. Yep, they're there. Two tap the one in the box. Dev tabbing. Got one. Behind the box though. Nice, huge. Thank you. That's Nova. Awesome. Nice. Let's go. Good play this. I have a storm collar up. Probably just save it though. I almost have them on. They came inside too. One came B. I'm watching you. One's weak on the stairs down there. There's an emperor from the box inside. Hmm. Um, I could try to push in there and bait out a super with a storm. Actually, this is go for it. Ooh, got one in the door there. No, oh, that's diamond. huge. That's huge. One stone stairs. Good denial. Nice. nice. Okay, the tether might go off here. He's half. He's going for res. I'm getting no go. He's gonna get a res. I'm sorry. No, nice. Nice, nice, nice. No. Good please. Bang, this is Good too stuff. fucking bad for him, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go inside. Probably B, and I'll super B, I think. Nope, they're outside. Never mind. Back and all. See if I can throw a nade over there. A couple times. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, they're kind of close actually. No, I'm gonna peek this side now. What's up? Cam's I'm my body now, invis. I'm my body invis. Okay. I don't know, I guess both left. Fuck, that's why. Oh. I got double axe and that sucks. That's unlucky. I don't know you guys are right, it's my bad. 
Oh dear. Take as long as you need to, because everyone's already got all those shooters. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, let's go. Jump up, please. Probably, yeah, I think I just need to storm to flush some of this shit out. Okay. Yeah, try to get as many supers to not be in last round as possible. Like yeah. So. They went, no, they have, they're going out. Okay. Do we play point? Yeah, for sure. Okay, one's in spawn. The Empress came to you. Going. Got two. Oh, got that's three. Huge. Let's fucking go. Oh go. Nice. my god. <laughs> Big plays, boys. Good stuff. What a last game. Yeah. Oh, that was that was flawless. Let's go. <laughs> I yeah. thought we had one more. <laughs> Jeez. GGs. GGs plays all around oh yeah it was fun yeah that was a blast actually did you uh have you been a destiny player since d1 no cap so in d1 i didn't do too much pvp but i did like i would do all the raids and all that kind of stuff yeah and then i was the same way of year one of d2 and then i stopped and i didn't come back until season of the worthy and that's when i oh, really wow. started to get into the pvp yeah Yeah, that's uh, that was similar to mine, of like coming back for trials and then being a little let down, but still like, yeah. mm -hmm, <laughs> but it's gotten yeah. a lot better since then. Oh yeah. I'm playing. It was nice to meet you. Hell yeah, yeah, good times. I'm glad we got to play together. Yes, it was sir. chill and fun. All right, well, good Ouch. luck out there. No calf. Have a good night. All right, you boys have an amazing night. You too, dude. See ya. Bye. Bye bye. I love that guy. That was so fun. He's really cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks again to NoCaf and Gabe for a great time. That was really fun. And thank you to you for watching the whole video. I hope you enjoyed this deeper look at Top Tree Stormcaller, and I hope you try it out sometime if you haven't. But however you play Destiny, I truly believe that's good and right and okay because it's just a game, and I wish you the best out there. The point is to have fun. Next up for me is a shotgun science video that's been in production for about four months now, and then after I get that posted, I'm actually going to take a little break and just chill for a while. I started 2021 with about 100 subscribers, and now I'm rapidly approaching 20,000 subscribers. That's a chunk in a short amount of time. Enough to make someone think maybe they're doing something right here and maybe they should do it more. I'm still not doing anything close to what I'd have to do to do this full time, but there's a faint notion that potentially full time isn't impossible, though it does still feel unbelievably unlikely. But also, that many subscribers in that amount of time didn't come from nowhere. I work my ass off making these videos. They take so much time. I'm making the content that I would want to watch, and doing that is extremely fun, but also extremely exhausting because I also have a full-time job, a Discord community I care about, and responsibilities to myself and others to, like, be a human being rather than a goblin who never leaves their apartment. Anyway, long story short, I need a breather. While I'm away, you can stay up to date with me on Twitter or through YouTube community posts I'll make here, and if you're bored, may I suggest watching my three-hour documentary about why I burned my entire vault, or explore the channel and see if you find anything old and weird hidden away in a playlist somewhere. Alright, that's all I've got to say. I really appreciate your time and support, and I'm excited to see what I do in the future. I have some new, ambitious video ideas that get me really excited right now, but I also have some walks to take, some dinners to eat with friends, and I really want to go play some video games without any pressure to make a video. 
So, uh, I'm gonna go do that now. Alright. Love ya. Bye-bye.